Okay, so uh, today we are going to see cash book with uh, transactions where transfer are uh, taking place through electronic banking. Now, before this electronic banking system evolved, okay, agar tumhe tumhare bank se kisi ko payment karna hai, to one option was you go to the bank, go to your bank, you withdraw cash and give it to the person. Second option was you issue a check, yani you give a check to other person. But as internet evolved, online transactions evolved, electronic banking transactions came into the picture. Now, electronic banking transaction, what we are doing is, instead of giving a physical check to anyone or withdrawing cash and giving it to that person, what we do is, directly from our bank account, the money will be transferred to the other person's bank account. And it will be done very fast. Because here, when this system was not there, you first write a check, okay, you give it to that person, that person will then go to the bank, his bank, and then deposit the check. So, kitna time chala jata tha fir, that bank, where the check is deposited will travel back to our bank for signature verification for the balance and then the amount will go to that person's account. So there was a huge cycle involved. In fact, electronic banking transaction really was a boon in the time of this lockdown during COVID-19 situation because movement of people was restricted. So if I have to give money to someone, how do I go and give the money? It was curfew everywhere. So what we used to do is we would transfer this amount online. Now these days even wallets are used, okay, electronic wallets. But right now we are not discussing about it. That's not part of this right now. We are going to talk of electronic banking transaction where the transactions are from one bank to another at the same time. At the same time, at the same time, even transactions using debit card and credit card has evolved a lot. So what happens is you go with the card, you make the payment, you swipe the card, or these days even you tap the card, you make the payment. So what happens for the business? Now the business person, okay, will swipe your card, get a confirmation that yes, this transaction is now okay. Now business person will get this money in the in his bank account from the credit card company, but credit card company will not do this free of cost. Because so credit card company will take some charges from the merchant or from the business. So here, from cash book point of view, we have to just record the charges, what we are paying for electronic banking transactions. Now, what are these transactions which are covered in your syllabus? They are, first is NEFT, second is RTGS, and third is through credit and debit card. Now over here, NEFT is, you have to remember this, this abbreviations, NEFT kya hai, aisa exam mein aa sakta hai, as a multiple choice option. NEFT is National Electronic Fund Transfer. RTGS is Real Time Gross Settlement. And sales through debit and credit card, I think many of you would have even used it in your life that you go to the merchant, swipe the card, take the goods, okay, and the payment will be done by the credit card company or the bank issuing the credit card. Now, you have to remember these full form NEFT, RTGS, okay, from some point of view, you have to just record the charges. So what will be the charges for us? All these charges, because we are doing NEFT, or RTGS, RTGS is for minimum rupees 2 lakh. It's real time gross settlement. Okay, NEFT can be for any amount. 
इनफैक्ट आई करके भी एक सर्विस इवॉल्व हुआ है इमीडिएट पेमेंट स्कीम सो इमीडिएट यू आर पेइंग द मनी सो अप टू टू लैख रुपीज इमीडिएट दैट फंड्स कैन गेट ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम वन बैंक अकाउंट टू अनदर देर विल बी नो नो गैप बिटवीन द ट्रांजेक्शन डन एंड द अमाउंट रिसीव सो ऐसे अलग 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 कंसेप्ट है इन शॉर्ट हमें क्या देखना है कि किसका कितना चार्जेस है और वो हमें हमारे बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स में रिकॉर्ड करना है पेमेंट साइड ऑफ कैश Got it, all of you. Okay, now let's go to illustration seven. Please make the format. Okay. Let's see the question. Illustration number seven. From the following transaction, prepare three columnar cash book of Sri Jamna Das for first fortnight. Of April 2016, first fortnight, याने पहले पंद्रह दिन के लिए. So let's write cash book of Sri Jamna Das for first fortnight of April 2000. Sixteen. Okay. Now, April one, opening cash balance thirty thousand and bank balance eight lakh. Okay. So. both on the receipt side 2016 to balance Brought forward cash balance thirty thousand, bank balance eight lakh. Okay, now goods of three lakh purchased from Nilesh. At two percent cash discount and the amount paid by RTGS, याने online banking से pay किया. RTGS charges rupees thirty. Bank has debited the amount. So हमने three lakh purchase किया, three lakh pay किया after deducting two percent cash discount और हमें extra thirty rupees भरना पड़ा for RTGS charges. So payment. April third, two thousand sixteen. By purchases, cash discount. So amount is three lakh two percent discount. So six thousand two lakh ninety four thousand. And again on April third, by RTGS. charges account 30 rupees bank column next okay any doubt in this extremely simple now next goods of 1 lakh Sold to Rajesh. He has sent amount through NEFT. 
बैंक हैज क्रेडिटेड द अमाउंट यानी अब हमारे अकाउंट में पैसा आया तो हमें तो कोई चार्ज लगने वाला ही नहीं है ओके सो वो चार्ज किसको लगेगा राजेश को लगेगा तो उससे हमें कोई लेना देना नहीं है सो ओवर योर लेट्स राइट रिसीप साइड अप्रैल फिफ्थ टू सेल्स अकाउंट वन लैख बैंक कॉलम सिक्स्थ वन गुड्स ऑफ फोर लैक सोल्ड टू महेश एट टू परसेंट कैश डिस्काउंट ही हैज सेट द अमाउंट थ्रू आर टी जी एस अब वो आर टी जी एस करे एनी एफ टी करे हमें चेक दे हमें पैसों से मतलब है मनी विल कम इन अवर बैंक अकाउंट ओके सो सिक्स वन टू सेल्स Amount is four lakh two percent cash discount, so eight thousand discount allowed. So one lakh ninety two thousand. Sorry, four lakh two percent cash discount allowed, so three lakh ninety two thousand. Now we received this amount through RTGS, so it has gone in our bank account. So bank column insurance premium seven of ten thousand paid through NEFT and NEFT charges incurred rupees three. Bank has debited the amount in our account. Okay, insurance premium paid seven payment side. insurance premium account 10000 and 7 ko hi by any ft charges account real fees salary of 15000 paid in cash so date is 9 cash column 15000 cash sir hmm um, sir aap pehla hai एनी एफ टी में पहले रुपीज थर्टी नहीं आया थ्री थे थ्री बैंक चार्जेस इनकर रुपीज थ्री थ्रन रुपया देन कैश सेल्स थर्टी थाउजेंड सो टेन रिसीप साइड टू सेल्स अकाउंट कैश कॉलम थर्टी थाउजेंड Ten thousand withdrawn from the bank for personal expense. याने बैंक से withdraw किया और सिंटा pocket में रख के owner अपने घर चला गया घर के cash box में या अपनी wife के हाथ में दे दिए. तो business में ये cash आया ही नहीं है. Owner is the receiver, the bank is the giver. Drawings eleven. Payment side. By drawings account. Now twelfth one twelve thousand paid to Ramesh towards payable amount. Now twelve thousand paid, so payment side twelfth co by Ramesh account twelve thousand paid nothing given so cash paid twelve thousand. Raman thirteen Raman has. 
paid 22,000 through NEFT towards our receivable amount. Bank has credited the amount. Raman has paid to us. So, our receipt side 13 to Raman account. 22,000 goes directly in our bank account because it is through NEFT. Ye bank to bank hi hota hai. Rent paid 5,000. Date is 14. By rent account, 5,000 cash column. Bank has credited 3,000 of dividend. Yane bank ne credit kiya. Yane bank balance amara increase hua. Bank me paisa aya. Bank has credited. So in the cash book on the debit side, 15 to dividend account. Three thousand. All transactions done. So let's do the working for closing the sum. Now see the working. Total first let's close the discount columns. Okay, so discount allowed. Do the total thousand. Then discount received. Do the total six thousand. This come koi bhi balance nahi karna hai. Sir, total karna hai. Then go to cash. Cash is debit total is 60,000, credit total 32,000. So balance is 28,000. So first, let's close cash. Debit side is more, so 60,000. Same we write on the credit side, so again 60,000. And balance difference is twenty eight thousand. So fifteen by balance carried forward twenty eight thousand. Bank debit side total. 13 lakh 17 thousand credit side total 314033 difference 102967 now again debit side is more so debit side we write the total credit side again we transfer the same total or isme se hum ye sab ko minus karenge yani directly we can write the balance 1002967 so let's transfer it Sum is not yet over, so 15 ka balance we carried forward on 16. So April 16th,
टू बैलेंस बॉट फॉरवर्ड ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड कैश एंड टेन लैख टू थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सेवन बैंक finish the sum so if you have any doubt if not please prepare format for illustration 12 okay. illustration 12 you please mark it important for exam from the following transactions this type of sum or similar sum can come in your exam from the following transaction prepare three columnar cash book of shrimati mittal bin okay so write the heading for the month of july of shrimati smt mittal bin आइडियली श्री लिखते हैं बट अभी श्रीमती दिया है तो आई एम राइटिंग श्रीमती ओके फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई सॉरी तो पहले क्वेश्चन मुझे आप लिखो पड़े ना लिखो ओके नाउ जुलाई 2015 फर्स्ट ओपनिंग कैश बैलेंस 7000 बैंक बैंक सो कौन सी साइड आएगा पेमेंट साइड पेमेंट पेमेंट साइड पेमेंट साइड ओके सो रिसीव साइड कैश बैलेंस पेमेंट साइड बैंक बैलेंस 2015 जुलाई वन टू बैलेंस बॉट फॉरवर्ड कैश कॉलम सेवन थाउजेंड एंड बैंक ओवर फोर थाउजेंड बाई बैलेंस बॉट फॉरवर्ड फोर थाउजेंड बैंक कॉलम दिस इज ओवर ड्राफ्ट ओके This is Sir, bracket में ओडी लिखने का क्या लिखने का ओडी नहीं ओके तो लिख दो बी ओडी लिखने में क्या आंसर बैंक ओवर या ओडी लिखो तो भी चलेगा या पूरा भी लिख सकते हो बैंक ओवर जस्ट फोर सो दैट यू नो दिस इज बैंक ओवर पेमेंट साइड मीन यू है more than your bank balance so this amount now you have to pay to the bank okay now goods of 4000 sold to khushali a check is received from her which is deposited in the bank so july 2 to sales account 4000 bank account Okay, next one. Goods of eight thousand sold to Yesha at ten percent cash discount. So eight thousand me ten percent cash discount hai. But cash discount tabi calculate karna hai jab hume paisa mil raha hai. Half of the amount is received in cash. Remaining amount is received by check, which is deposited in the bank. Yani pure ka pura paisa mil raha hai. So pure eight thousand pe ten percent cash discount. which comes to 800 so fourth to sales account 800 up discount 800 chala gaya to 7200 3600 cash 3600 by check any doubt in this all of you understood this Yes sir. Yes sir. Now, 
Sixth one, goods of 3,000 purchased in cash, purchased in cash from the pin. So the pin ka naam sabhi me koi parak nahi parta at 10% cash discount. So we are buying, so we have to pay. So on the payment side, sixth, buy purchases. Three hundred discount twenty seven hundred cash next rupees one thousand deposited in the bank. अभी आ गया हमारा कॉन्ट्रा एंट्री 1000 बैंक में डिपॉजिट किया तो किसका बैलेंस इंक्रीज हुआ बैंक का या कैश का बैंक बैलेंस बैलेंस इंक्रीज सो रिसीप्ट साइड बैंक कॉलम पहले लिख दो 1000 वी डिपॉजिटेड इन द बैंक कैश डिपॉजिटेड इन द बैंक सो कैश बैलेंस Decrease so payment side cash column like the 1000. Date is 7. Payment side buy cash me gaya to buy bank likhenge. And LF me contra because iska posting nahi hota hai. And over your receipt side 7. Two cash account contra C because cash book is also a ledger account. Um, is a lux of a ledger account, nay banate or yahape dono ka effect idari ajata cash book ke under that's why we write C. Okay, C is for contra entry. Next, rupees nine eight rupees eight hundred paid to Gopi for salary by check. Eight hundred paid to Gopi for salary by check. So payment side nine by salary. Nam record nahi karna hai because service comes in, money goes out. 800 bank column next stationery of 311 purchased from suresh stationery mart and the amount is paid by check. So stationary purchase, stationary expense, amount paid by check, 11th payment side. By stationary account. Amount is 300 paid by check. Next, 14, Deepak paid 5,900 by cash towards total debt of 6,005. Yane Deepak paid, so we received, we should have received 6,005, but we received 5,900, so 105 is the discount. So for 14, to Deepak account, discount 105 and we received 5900. Next, check of rupees 8000 issued to Paresh 
towards full settlement of account of 8080 now we are issuing check to paresh pay karna tha 8080 and 8080 but we paid only 8000 so discount of rupees 80 17th by paresh discount column 80 8,000. Next. Rent of three thousand paid by cash twenty year. By rent three thousand. Cash column. Now uh, rupees two thousand withdrawn from the business. For personal use, यानि business के cash box में से owner ने rupees two thousand withdraw किया और वो अपने घर ले गया. So by drawings twenty four. Two thousand rupees cash column. Two thousand rupees cash column. Then. Posted expense of two hundred paid by cash, so twenty eight by postage expense account, cash column two hundred. Paid cash of six hundred for wages, so. Twenty nine by wages account six hundred. Now thirty first very important. After keeping cash on hand of rupees two thousand, remaining amount is deposited in the bank. So jitna bhi hamara cash balance hai, usme se two thousand we will keep in the cash box. Remaining amount out of that will deposit in the Back. So first, before we go for that adjustment, let's close the discount allowed and discount received because we have to just do the total. So total of discount allowed is nine hundred and five, and discount received is three hundred and eighty. Now let's go to our working note. Now, cash. Total sixteen thousand five hundred. Receipt side debit total credit total is nine thousand five hundred. So nine thousand five hundred. So cash balance is seven thousand. So we have seven thousand rupees with us in our cash box. Out of this seven thousand, two thousand we keep it with us, and five thousand is deposited in the bank. So cash on hand, two thousand, and five thousand is to be deposited in the bank. So we have to write a entry deposited in the bank. So receipt side bank column five thousand, and payment side cash column five thousand. So let's write thirty first by bank account. See for contra highlighted thirty first to cash account. See for contra highlighted. Now let's close cash account first. So cash receipt side. 
is more always to the total 1600 same we write on the payment side 1600 and the balance now balance is now of rupees 2000 only because now your credit total or payment total is 14500 so cash balance is 2000 because 9500 tha और 5000 हमें फिर बैंक में डिपॉजिट कर दिया तो टोटल पेमेंट हुआ हमारा कैश आउटफ्लो हुआ 14500 का सो 2000 कैश रह गया सो 2031st बाय बैलेंस कैरी फॉरवर्ड नाउ लेट्स गो टू बैंक Let's see which receipt side is more or payment side. So receipt side total 13,600. Payment side total is 13,100. So difference comes to rupees 500 only. As we know receipt side is more. So receipt side 13,500 13,600 sorry and payment side also 13,600 so per balance which is 500 now sum is not yet over ye month ka closing next month ka opening so August 1 2 balance bought forward 2,500 so that's it go through the sum see if you have any doubts